Russell Cecil, FLW Tour Pro, Willis, Texas. I'm gonna to talk to you about my swim jig setup today. I do a few things to modify my swim jig though that I've found over the years to be more successful with a swim jig. I kind of, I guess this really kind of started for me uh, as I had a swim jig that was kind of getting worn out in my opinion. It, I'd skipped it around a lot of docks, I'd beat it up, was probably the worst looking one I had, but the skirt was really thin and I realized, hey, I'm getting more action out of my trailer with a thinner skirt. So with that experience, I started modifying my swim jigs. Now the six inch swim jig has a pretty thin skirt, but I make it even thinner. So what I like to do is I flip it upside down and I take my scissors and I trim the back side of the skirt off of this jig. So I don't even use the skirt on the back side at all. And this gives, in my opinion, my trailer more action and I get more bites this way. So I, I just try to trim that off on the back, make sure that it's staying pretty uniform in the rest of the skirt. And then the other thing I like is a, a swim bait. So what I do with this is I wanna kind of flat surface where I put it on this swim jig. So I just trim a little piece of the head off where the surface is flat there. So it's gonna meet up with the back of that swim jig. I measure it, just kind of look at the hook shank here. Okay, I want it this far up here. I have an idea where I want the hook to exit. This six cent swim jig has a keeper on it that's the kind of corkscrew style. So this is really nice. I like it because it allows you to skip this jig and not have to adjust your trailer very often. So I come down here where I kind of marked my hook exit, go up here, then you're gonna have to spin the trailer around the shank a few times and then get it married up against the back. This is my swim jig and this is how I like to fish it. This is how I modify it for what's become most successful for me.